Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Couch Command, another video. Um, we've been gone for a while, you know, the holidays and such, and I was just kind of in a spurt where I didn't really feel like making videos, and wasn't really sure where I wanted to take the channel directional-wise, and I've decided just to kind of do what I want, you know. I'm not going to cover new games as much, like every new game, like I wanted to, wanted to in the first place. Um, but yeah, just play some games that I like to play. You know, so on and so forth. So we're in GTA right now. And let's get into it. So welcome to Couch Command. I'm your host, Oliver, and I hope you enjoy the show. Um, since the new changes in YouTube, if you could like and subscribe and hit that bell icon, that'd be awesome. Because I will have more videos coming out in the future. Um, at a more repetitious pace. Not so much, you know, waiting a month before I, you know, put out a video. But thank you to my two new subscribers. Um, I appreciate that. And yeah, let's get into it. So we're in my office in Pella, er, we're in my office. Down in the city. It is snowing outside right now. Probably should put on some more, you know, winter clothes. Because it is cold. There we go. Yeah, um... So I want to show you I'm the theme you, of my GTA 100%. shit. Well, good to hear, lady. It's Pelic Hello. Pelito Bay. What do you need? Let me know what you want, and I'll tell the Pegasus people to get it ready. The Quite Pegasus a collection people. you've got here. What vehicles should I tell them you want? Whatever you want. I'll get them to bring it up to the helipad. Thank you. But so... My office is called Pelito Bay Incorporated. And of course, right next door is my hotel, is my fucking penthouse suite where I keep all my big business executives. But mo we mostly operate out of Pleto Bay out here. As you can see, I own pretty much all of Pleto Bay. And that's where we're heading to. And yeah, I just started playing GTA, um, level 39. I've been playing for a hot minute, um, me and, my, me and my buddy do a lot of vlogs. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Um, it's, it's a mission in the facility heist. It's a second act or something that you can do over and over and over as long as you can do it right. And it gives you like a mill at a time. So. And it's not really cheating because it's in the game. And it hasn't been patched. So. Don't do too much or they will take your money away. Cool little thing. Oh yeah, and just recently I learned you can net test servers, which is like you go into your settings and you can like wipe everybody out of your server so it's just you. So it's a lot easier to do your jobs and stuff. Mm, cool stuff. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but I'm glad to be getting back into doing this. It's been such a while, and I do have a few more videos I am making via um, Outer Worlds, you know, they're older videos, but I had them in there, so I might throw them up, but yeah, be playing some GTA, um, probably some Call of Duty, which I think will be fun, you know, the new one, um, we'll see though, kind of just doing whatever I feel like doing, dude, I love, I hate how the snow though, like, blinds you so much on this fucking island, it's annoying. Cause like I was doing the um the plane mission where you gotta fly like the water planes and drop off supplies for your um, cocaine or meth. And it was so hard to see in the snow. Out in the water, I couldn't tell which was up or down. I just had to rely on the mini map. Okay, so we're getting over here. To Palito Bay, our home sweet home. And yeah. You know, most people think Plato Bay is the worst place to be. But, I mean, I like it. I have all my stuff here. My arcade. I got all the houses and garages. I got all my businesses here. I have a facility in my bunker. I just like it because it's all super centralized. In one location. Um, but yeah, I love this fucking arcade, dude. I'm so glad they added that into the game. It makes this game so fucking cool. I mean, like, have you guys seen this place? Hold on here. I have mine fully upgraded. 
you can check it out. And the reason I use helicopters to get around is because I live out in the wood, backwoods so far. So I've been becoming an ace pilot so I can get around real quick. I love loading these screens. Yeah, but the arcade is fucking awesome. I just think it's funny because most arcades cater to kids, and this is like a retro like arcade where it's like, oh yeah, you know, you can be naughty without being naughty. But look at this guy, fucking pleb. He's wearing shoulder pads. Who does that? Only people in GTA. Ma'am. Look at all these hipsters. I bet half of them are only here hey. ironically or some shit. <laughs> Hit me up with a drink. And this is what pisses me off. She takes forever to pour Your a fucking whiskey? drink. There we go. Bye. Now I can play the game perfectly. I gotta get my money out of the safe. I like the safe thing. That money just kind of grows in there. We know I only have like 500 bucks in there. Mm. But the arcade's pretty freaking cool. Got all your shit here. Your high set up here. I need to do that highest. I've heard all the parts are pretty cool. Let's head back outside. Back outside. <laughs> but yeah, I do like the hey, uh, location. I can't. Just cause like, you know, you'd think it's a shitty little town, but really there's like fucking... Oh, you know, it's just a shitty town. I mean, come on, you can have everything here you want. I think that's pretty freaking cool. Can I hit this ramp? It's a fucking ramp. This ramp looks awesome. Hold on, we're testing something now. Let me call a vehicle in. You need something, huh? One of your rides? Yeah. Let me know. Give me... Me Zintorno. I'll bring it to you. It's probably my favorite vehicle. Like, favorite, like, sports car. To be fair. What do you think it's gonna spawn at? Oh, I spawned way the fuck over there. Damn. Ooh, hood slide. Oh, I didn't do it. There we go. Dream View Motel. It's a terrible name. Motel. Oh yeah, all my cars are purple and white, by the way. It's my, to my clan. So this is like kind of like my introductory episode, and then I'll be doing more stuff in the future. Um, but yeah, so over here we got our nice and lovely fucking method. We, you know, it's just a nice little town. I do like the town. And I'm gonna kind of show all my garages off and stuff this episode. 
all the vehicles I have at my disposal. So we're gonna start at my facility. So if we head on over... Snow Tundra. So, yep. You can come on in here. And I think it's cool they do this every time, but it gets repetitive. You know? Maybe it wouldn't be quicker for cutscene. Because this is just loading. But who knows? Mm -mm -mm. So there's my fucking adventure. And I go with a snow camo because they they can't really do purple. Purple looks horrible. But they have like a purple tint to it as you can see. Um yeah. Let's go up. So I keep all my, my war vehicles in here that have like guns on them and shit. So I have, you know, th this one here, which I like. Whatever it's called. The weaponized Tampa Insurgent. Insured. Oh, it says insured. <laughs> the BF Doom FAV. <laughs> this is my pride and joy right here. Awesome. We're gonna grab this one. I love this thing. If anybody doesn't have this yet in their game, they should totally get it. It's worth it. It's basically like that. Head over to my next garage here. We're gonna be going to my biker place. Which is right here. I try to keep everything centralized in Plato Bay. Cause that's like the kind of the role playing I'm going for. That I'm just a back town boy that made a shit ton of money selling drugs and shit. And guns. Yeah, I got the fucking that one. And then the chopper. Oh yeah, yeah what's it called? The oppressor. And no I have I have a um another vehicle, but it's I'm gonna pay for it to get it back. Cause like cops caught me with it. But yeah, let's drive over here. Uh, listen, uh, Tony Prince again? The Tony Prince? <laughs> you know. And as you can see, maybe a terrible driver. So, the garage up here, which is, that one is empty. So there's still room for growth. And then, yeah. Going to this garage over here. I do believe this is my truck garage. Let me take a look here. Oh, yes, yeah, so I have this little fucking dumb thing. Which I don't even know why I have it. And then I have this beast, which I do like a lot. And I kept it my, my, my um, crew colors. I kind of like made it rusty. I think it looks hilarious. It doesn't look good. But it looks, looks like something. And this is my next garage. This is actually a six car garage. Which it does not fucking look like it's a six car garage. Like watch this. This is like the fucking TARDIS from Doctor Who. Holy shit, this garage is huge. And it's a two two door, that doesn't make any sense. But I got my armored cars in here, so like, these three so far. Hmm. But yeah, I hope you all accept me being back, and I should have some more videos coming out. I'll probably be doing some 
have more gameplay. I mean, you know, this is just my little introductory back into my channel. So I'm not doing any, like, missions. But I should be doing... I'm gonna, I'm gonna be trying to solo most of GTA 5. So you'll see me, like, running missions solo and trying to complete them. In, like, cheeky ways. So, hopefully you enjoy that. And if not, leave a comment. I might change my mind. Yeah, this is my little, like, sports car garage with little FIFA cars. Or whatever. FIFA cars. <laughs> But yeah, I got these two so far. I guess little racing cars or what whatnot. Um two more garages to show off and then I'll probably in or three. Well two more. Yeah, but if you head on over yonder. This thing gets it, but it's really silly. Like it's so dumb. Okay, so we got two garages here right next to each other. In this garage, we have our doom buggies for like off-roading in the mountains or for off-roading on the beach. We got our bifta right here, and then the new bifta. It's fucking badass. This thing can get it. It can get up to like race car speeds. But yeah, let me exit here. Yeah, but I guess lately I've been just a little bit depressed. And I did see the new Skywalker movie. It was really good. No spoilers, of course. Um, yeah. And it, that gave me a real great realization about the world. And I might make a video about that in the near future. Depending on how I feel. Yeah, this is like my, my like luxury car garage, I guess. Hit all the cars that like are my fast cars. So is it a Zentorno? This one. I don't like. And then the other one's over here. I won this one at the um the roulette wheel. This one right here. Oh yeah, I won it. Makes it even better. But yeah. I think this is that's it. This is it for the video. Um just showing off my stuff I got in GTA. So you know, you know. First two belts, present. Dude, Radio shut the fuck up, people. I'm trying to talk here. Yeah, so hopefully in future episodes of this series, maybe not series. We'll see. Or probably just videos. You'll know what's going on and what I have and what I don't have. So you don't get confused. You heard that? Excuse me. But yeah. Um, like and subscribe. Oh, hey. And... Please click that bell icon. Or you don't have to if you don't want to, you know. I checked, you do you, bro. But yeah, YouTube's really fucking people games. over. But then I didn't check with this new um, system they have. But it's not really YouTube's fault either. It's our dumb lawmakers. But yeah, we might cover that in another video too. We'll probably do a series called CC Life. Which is just my thoughts. You know. I'm not too worried about it coming back to blow up my face if I find a fancy job that I'm going to get. Because I probably will never get that. You know? Because I work in a factory and I didn't finish school. I finished high school, not college. Yeah. Uh, have a great day, guys. Um, live long and prosper. Hey, has uh, Wendy ever said anything to you about me?